Welcome to Next Slide Please. Uh, today's episode we've got Sophie from the channel Curio. Ooh. The fact that you're seeing this presentation means that you clicked on the video and carried on watching. I wanted to like increase my production value for my second appearance, so I hope that you'll appreciate the slides themselves. The visuals. In this presentation, they're an important element. It's important to me that people appreciate my beautiful PowerPoint. What I'm hearing here... Okay. What I'm hearing here is that it's going to be all style, no substance. <laughs> well, well, Jen. Let's fight and talk. The, the gauntlet has been thrown down. We will see if there is substance to my presentation. This is how TikTok invented a new religion and why we should maybe worry about it. A bit. Okay, let's start by watching some TikToks. There is no such thing as a coincidence. The fact that you're watching this video means you've probably wondered if it's possible to manifest a specific person. I have. The answer is yes. When you repeatedly partake in rituals to manifest a specific individual, you are sending large amounts of your own energy to that person, energy. which can cause it. them to think about you more and even get the urge to want to hang out with you. Of course. But understand this, as Earth humans, you have Earth willpower. humans. Which Earth means humans. they have the power to deny your energy. This can also be mistaken for black magic. So ask yourself this, is what I'm doing ethical? Download ask Grand that. Rising for more manifesting tips. Okay, okay. you've probably seen this Creepy guy, right? Energy. You've probably seen this yes. guy before? Yes. He's called William Knight. He's the TikTok king. He starts every TikTok with there is no such thing as coincidences. Mm -hmm. uh, he uses one track, but to his credit, that track fucking slaps. He yes, became very popular recently on not just TikTok, but on Twitter and other places because of a video where it looked like he vaporized a woman with his mind. <laughs> um, let's watch a couple more of his TikToks before commenting on the substance rather than just the style. Okay. The fact that you're watching this video means you are energetically aligned with me and this message. Psychological fact. Your depression is the result of unmonitored thoughts and overthinking okay. because the mind creates problems that don't exist. Just Affirm about this. It. Today, I choose to be happy for no reason. A positive mindset backs all of my thoughts, memories, and experiences. Download the app Grand Rising to receive daily powerful affirmations and share this with someone you love. There is no is such thing as this is the one. Yeah. The fact yeah. that you're watching this video <laughs> means you're energetically aligned with me and this message. Your thoughts create your reality. Well, you already knew that, yet you still live a life that you dread. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> when you visualize your dream life, you unconsciously believe that it is unrealistic. Okay. okay, so that's probably enough of his TikToks for us to discuss what he's talking about in the TikToks. Um, I have a real sudden urge to download an app. <laughs> that's interesting. It's really interesting that you picked up on that. It's something that doesn't actually tend to get seen in his most popular videos that are shared on Twitter. But in 99% of his content, he ends the TikTok by telling you to download Grand Rising. And actually, yeah. if you look... At the uh, account, his username is Grand Rising App. Um, he talks a lot about um, conspiracy theories. He talks about mermaids. People are very interested in that. He talks about UFOs and aliens. Ooh, I think I might have seen the mermaid one. Right, the mermaid one is another one that's very popular. Where again, he doesn't end it by talking about Grand Rising, so people don't quite realize that are they that, mermaids that, or are they aquafarians aquafarians that's right oh. so uh the the mermaids one is another one where he doesn't talk about grand rising and so even though it's really really popular people don't quite cotton on that he has a specific grift he's doing and hey no hate on the guy everyone has a specific grift they're doing his is an app okay i wonder if he made it i like the idea of him being a programmer and his like Daily, daily he's just life. an incredibly fashionable programmer. Yeah. Who, yeah, that would be really yeah, I've cool never seen. A, I've I'd never seen really a programmer that. have that kind of style. <laughs> so 
but but there's an interesting thing that happens right at the start of every one of his videos right uh he says this thing. there's no such thing as a coincidence the fact that you're watching this video means you're energetically aligned with me and this message so he says that you the viewer are energetically aligned with him and this message or in this okay. case and with manifesting your dream life um so i would like to open up our first audience participation section name okay, some okay. kinds of energy I'd like us to figure out together what kind of energy Mr. Grand Rising, William Knight, is talking about when he talks about being energetically aligned with him and this message. Vibes. Uh-huh. That's a kind of vibes. energy. Vibes. Sure. We got vibes. some more suggestions. Think back to high school this, physics. Yeah. <laughs> like you're testing me on stuff I learned 10 years ago. Kinetic. That's right. Chemical, oh, gravitational see. potential. Yeah. These are some types potential, of energy. Yeah. yeah, you're getting it. Um, gravitational right. potential. Let's have some of these. I've got, got one. Kinetic, got it. I've got one. I've got one. Go on, Jen. The Genergy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Jeffic, Jeffic Genergy is certainly a type of energy. I wonder if you can be genetically aligned. I don't know. I've, gave, I've given my Genergy to some people. Maybe. I've given my Genergy to Possibly. some people. If I Jen invest is enough energy right now, if I put enough energy into a specific person, will it manifest them? I mean, <laughs> there's a reason why you're on the show right now. We are genetically aligned. Uh, yeah, we got all the classics down here. You know, all of these good ones. Um, two I'd like to focus on because they're going to be relevant to our discussion going forward are the cosmic microwave mm -hmm. background energy. Mm-hmm. This is something that's going to come up, you'll understand mm -hmm, mm -hmm. shortly. EMF radiation. Now, EMF radiation, electromagnetic field radiation, is light. It's light. It's also cosmic mic microwave background because it's microwaves. Uh, it's gamma radiation. It's all sorts of stuff. Two kinds of energy they probably don't teach you about in high school physics are positive orgone energy, P-O-E, and deadly orgone energy, D-O-E. Po and do. Po and Do. I'm guessing you weren't taught about these in high school physics. I wasn't. You weren't? No, I never okay. heard of these. Mr. Hughes did me wrong. Yeah, that's fucked up. All right, so let's watch another TikTok, because after all, this presentation is about TikTok. Yo, check this out. This is why Drake is so obsessed with Oregon pyramids. It's actually crazy. I learned about Oregon pyramids through Drake's stories because he keeps these things all over his mansions and he was talking about good energy and all that stuff. It's another one here, so obviously I had to do my research. Now, science wow. knows that a pyramid is the easiest structure to carry energy. That's why we found pyramids all oh. over the world. They were literally okay. free energy devices. Yeah. Now, William Reach was the oh. one who discovered Oregon energy and he was actually curing people of many <laughs> ailments and diseases. Shortly after his lab was raided, his books were burned, he was arrested. Go figure. Check this out. These were planted on the same date. The left side, no organ. The right side, organ energy. And as you can see, they help with the yield and the growth of plants. So farmers actually keep them in the fields as well. Crazy stuff. And I've grown many things in my life with organ energy. It works. This is frozen water over an organ generator, another example of the high energy. And there's another example. Besides all that, the biggest thing these do is protect from EMF radiation by emitting negative ion. For the best organ pyramids on the market, smash the link in my bio. Is the many things that he has grown... Marihuana. You have some ideas? Marihuana. Oh, you think that it might be the old Mary Jane? Yes. The devil's lettuce. Could jazz be. cabbage. Yes. It looks like a tomato plant to me. <laughs> Listen, uh -huh. look, look, look. I think the main thing that this guy farms is bullshit. Yeah. Because this guy is another example of a TikTok grifter. It's important for us to think about the examples of these guys um, and how they have something that they want to sell. He said very explicitly at the end of his TikTok, go to my site, I have the best organ pyramids, sorry, organ pyramids on the market, is what he said. To protect Again, us from EMF. He has a specific grift and he's trying from to do sun. something, right? Um... But on the way to that grift, right, he's given us a lot of powerful, high-level ideas to consider. For example, Drake is obsessed with these things called organ pyramids. Uh, they, they, can, they can grow plants, they can change water in some way. And the inventor or discoverer of organ energy, uh, William Reach, 
was thrown in jail and his books were burned by the government. Wow. Uh, for for talking about organs. So, a lot to consider there. So, in moving on, I'd like to ask, who was William Reach? So, in that TikTok, he subtitled yes. the name R I R E I C H. Was that just yes. a misspelling? That was a correct spelling. Because William Reach is, in fact, um, Wilhelm Reich was actually who William Reich is. Wilhelm Reich was an author, and uh, he wrote uh, several, you know, a few books. Um, his his most famous works were Character Analysis, The Mass Psychology of Fascism, and The Sexual Revolution. He um, lived in Nazi Germany and actually like moved and uh, like fled the Nazis because he was Jewish, and um, so his his psychological study of fascism. Um, was kind of an interesting anti-fascist work. He 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 played into a lot of ideas of like the Jungian collective unconscious. So uh, he was also a sexologist. Um, I've met some of those. Yeah, <laughs> yes. So sexology <laughs> is a French. We've psychology. all met a sexologist, right? <laughs> you don't need to We've brag. We've all met a guy at a party who's told us he's a sexologist. <laughs> uh, sexology is like a, a field of study coming out of psychology that, date, that dates back to the early 1900s. Uh, I think actually a little earlier. Um, and one of the most prominent members of the field would be Magnus Hirschfeld, mm. who was someone who did an enormous amount of research into gender and sexuality and sex and uh, was doing some of the most pioneering work um, into transgender people when the Nazis, um, well, well when, when he had to flee Nazi Germany and then when the Nazis then burned all his research because um, they were the Nazis, go figure. However, uh, some sexologists, not so good. If we want to swing from trans positive to trans negative, Ray Blanchard, for example. Okay. Uh, anyway, so, you know, the term the sexual revolution, like hippies, free love, all this stuff, that was actually coined by William Reach, um, he invented something called Vegito therapy, uh, which, as we all know, is when you go into a ten times gravity chamber and, and train on ten times gravity so that you're... No. So you can go super saiyan. Um, it's actually a therapy where the therapist stimulates the body of the patient um, to release um, pent-up... Um, uh, anyway, so he didn't, energy? he didn't the like fuck energy um, fascism, the Nazis, uh, the, the FDA, that's the Food and Drug Administration. We will get back to that in a minute. Um, he did like the proletariat, communism, psychology, sex, and organs. Any words really? jumping out there that people want explaining to them? I would love to know what an organ is. Can you just Fantastic. describe what sex we've is? Finally, yeah. we've finally. <laughs> <laughs> well, organs are related, actually, Jen. So um, we might we might explain a bit of both on the way. Um, is that why they're called sex organs? <laughs> <laughs> so um, Wilhelm Reich believed that uh, this is something he goes over in character analysis and another book called uh, "The Function of the Orgasm." He believed that, like, when people were having an orgasm was when they were their, like, real self. It's a measure of the real, like, tapping into your your true self. Tiny, and, tiny fraction of their life. Yes. And he, well, Sorry. anyway. Um, so, <laughs> Not if you're doing it right. <laughs> so he believed that... Um, that the Maybe most, a tiny fraction it, of your life, Nat. <laughs> <laughs> he believed that the essential energy of uh, human life, the, the human essence, the life force, was related to coming. Um, and that's why they're called orgones, because he also talked a lot about orgiastic potential. Um, and people's, mm. people's literal, like, I can't, like, I'm trying to use his other terms so that you get what I'm getting at here. So you know I'm not joking when I say orgones are fuck energy. That's literally this... what they are. Orgiastic he believed, potential energy. He believed that orgones were this kind of chi that comes from horniness and fucking and jacking up. Uh... Is this why is this why edging is so so powerful? <laughs> I hate to say it, Jen. We'll get back to edging. <laughs> <laughs> 
So uh, before I progress through William William Reach's life, uh, you had a burning question about this slide. Oh yeah, is uh, why is Einstein in the background of this slide? Why is Albert Einstein just chilling on the slide? So really big? yeah, yeah, you might see Albert Einstein's eye there, kind of merged into the slide. Um, that I included because I wanted to remind myself to mention that Wilhelm Reich did have at least one meeting with Albert Einstein um, during the period where he'd moved to America and uh, the war was brewing or the, the war the war was underway. Einstein was 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 petitioning the government to develop nuclear weapons because he was afraid of the potential of like, he knew that the Nazis were gonna, and he and he wanted to get into that arms race and get ahead of them. And uh, Reich had a conversation, probably the most interesting a- afternoon of Einstein's life, uh, a conversation about <laughs> orgone energy and how its limitless potential uh, um, could just like manifest into things and fill them infinitely. Can you make nuclear weapons? Now? Einstein said that if that were the case, then orgones would create a bomb. <laughs> um, do you get more, okay. do you have more fuck energy if you have more sex or do you have more fuck energy if you have less sex? Mm. Jen, I'm not, I'm not a professional from the American College of Orgonomy. I don't have all the answers to all your questions. Okay. However, the answer is more sex. Oh, that's, that's okay. Hard. Anyway, <laughs> So he moved to America to escape the Nazis, as I mentioned. Uh, when I was initially doing my research, I thought that the guy on the previous TikTok who said uh, all his research got burned by the government was um, a little misled. And the government referred to, you know, the Nazis, famous book burners. Um, however, however, <laughs> um, Wilhelm mm-hmm. Reich was imprisoned in 1956 for trying to spread the Orgon truth. Um, That's after the Nazis. When the f- the f- yes, it was all wrapped up. Um, the Food and Drug Administration did an injunction against him to stop him from shipping a, a shipment of orgone accumulators across state lines. And he, they also seized a bunch of his pamphlets distributing the, the truth about orgones, and they burned them. Uh, so the burning of his work... It's real. It oh. happened. And he was sent to jail by the American government. Although, I have a hunch, this isn't backed up by my research, this is Sophie's opinion that it was more to do with him being a communist than to do with the sex orgone energy. Anyway. Well, they just love it when they can get everything in together, right? When they can get them being communists and being, like, freaky little hippies. Yeah. Or, yes. Like, <laughs> Big time. Communists and gay? Yes. Communists and perverts? Yes. Get them. <laughs> so, 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 uh, thereafter, he only had a two-year, he only had a two-year sentence. Wow. Um... But in in prison, after a year in prison, his heart actually failed and he died. For his orgone accumulators, can I have a little more detail on one of those? Jen, could you just quickly give me your idea of how an orgone accumulator should function? I'm imagining a penis pump. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 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 you need to go to an altogether more depraved and unhinged place in your psyche, Jen. Oh, because, is it uh, like orgone accumulators are actually just a little uh, <laughs> uh, lead-lined <laughs> cupboard that you lock yourself in? I'm guessing to jack off, but I don't know for sure. Um, you just lock yourself the hell in there. Why does he look so and, sad? And the orgones get <laughs> in, so but in they can't. Cabinet. But they can't get out again. <laughs> Is the thing. And so you get really just like... Orgone valve. You get marinated in there with your orgones. Just like, you you just can't escape from them. Is this like how I, when I got stuck in the toilet the other week? <laughs> I, <see. laughs> I don't know, Jen, were you feeling more, more vital afterwards? Were you feeling more, um, more powerful? Oh, I got a free lunch out of it, so... Oh my god, that's so well, good. There you go. That must be you manifesting your best life mm. through orgone magic. Um, and then here's a, a, a colour photo... As well of an orgone accumulator. What a lovely covered. chair. Yeah, at least. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You want to be comfortable yeah. in there. You want it to doesn't be comfortable look comfortable, who knows, but it who looks Who knows how long colorful. you're going to be in there. So, um, but 
the guy who was uh was was on the TikTok we just watched talked about all going pyramids. So notably, didn't talk about the communism. You see, if you want to talk about mm. you know what what they're actually trying to cover up, you want uh-huh. to talk about what they're not talking about, the communism. Anyway, so Orgone Pyramids. Uh, let's have a talk about Orgone Pyramids. Actually, it's in one of the images, but it's now kind of covered over. Uh, it was a mini. It was called a mini Orgone Accumulator, mm, yeah. and it was an Orgone Pyramid. An Orgone Pyramid is basically a little um, resin pyramid full of crystals. <gasps> You've got one! You there paid that is. man! I didn't buy it from him. Um... A little resin pyramid filled with crystals. There are uh, uh, just just so many shops you can get these from on Etsy. And also if you just like look out, like generally like head shops have them because there's a big overlap, like weed culture, crystal healing, right? <laughs> with an orgone pyramid. You know what? All these slides have been high quality, but this is my favorite so far. And like the one with Einstein on it was actually a, like a work of art, but... I'm really Can glad. It's like the end. It's like the end of Superman Two, where they go into the 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 Zod and stuff. Go into the what's it called? The neutral zone? No, that's Star Trek. I'll, I'll be honest. The Phantom Zone. That's it. Uh, I'll be honest. Yeah, I, it was in my mind when I was making this beautiful. This what beautiful horrible story. crime did you commit? Nah. <laughs> well, actually, no. We'll find yeah. this out. So ways to Those use praying skeletons. Ways to use organite. Uh, it's actually worth noting that there's organite and there's shungite. Uh, Organite is supposedly a type of crystal that gives you orgones. Shungite is a crystal that, no, sorry, a mineral that will absorb deadly orgone energy. So one of them is going to give you the positive orgone energy, the other one's going to stop the deadly orgone energy. Which one's in yours? Um, Shungite, I believe. So but who fucking knows? Stop honestly? deadly. Who knows anything? Uh, it's worth noting as well that people who uh, are enthusiastic about, about this topic. Um, they aren't entirely off with the Shungite thing uh, because they're saying that it absorbs uh, deadly orgone energy, which they believe to be EMF radiation, uh, which, as I noted before, is literally just light. And Shungite is a very dense form of, like, charcoal, kind of. Um, so, yeah, it kind of does absorb light because it's black. So they're right, kind of. The Orgone Pyramids, they look quite nice. This is why ultimately I bought one it as a prop for this video, because they're, you know, they're, they're pretty, they're nice little trinkets, good little paperweight or whatever. Um, but like when you're making one yourself, you have this uh, silicon mold around it that you peel off. And so there are these kind of beautiful like unboxing, reveal, peeling off the mold videos, showing off your shiny new mm. colourful Orgone Pyramid full of crystals. And that's excellent TikTok content. And it's worth just... Uh, noting that that's a big part of why this is proliferated on TikTok at all is that it's just it just makes good TikToks. Ways to use organite so you can touch it. Do you wanna do you wanna touch it? Do you feel like you're getting positive organ energy right now? I'm feeling the energy. Uh huh. What I want to know is if the organite gives you yeah positive organ energy. Correct. And it's but it's like fuck energy. Yes. What is the deadly organ energy? <laughs> is that like evil fuck energy? Like what well, is that? So <laughs> we might get around to that later if everyone's good. Anyway, <laughs> okay. Um, okay. So I'm getting all these points, by the way, from a wiki how. So if you look for wiki how and organ pyramid or organite, uh, you will find all these points that I'm going to be going through just now. Um, in fact, here's one extra that's in the wiki how that I forgot to write into my into my slides. Um, you can actually get positive orgone energy just from looking at an oh. image of an orgone oh, pyramid. Okay. So Jen and Rach, Save me some congratulations. Cash. Yes. You don't even have to get one. You, you're getting it right yeah. now. You're getting the good stuff nice. right this second. Um, Does that also mean I will that everybody here... watching this video? Oh yeah, absolutely. They're all oh, getting I'm sorry. it. Big Let's... time. <laughs> We're all so, connected now. Every single person who is watching this you're video. You're all energetically aligned with me and this message. So you can touch it, that's one. Uh, you can wear it. Um, so here we go. Cool. There's my there's my organite pendant. Um, uh, you can affirm things. We've been over this already a little bit, but basically, you know, you, you, you kind of pray to it, but not, I mean, not, not if you're uncomfortable with that word, but just like- Just like this little skeleton. You just, you just picture good things that you want to happen and the positive orgone energy makes it so. 
you download the Grand Rising mm-hmm. app for daily powerful affirmations. That will give you good affirmations to yeah. affirm with it. <laughs> you can put it near your food. Uh, there is a belief that orgones will fill your food with more nutrients and uh, vitality, making them better for you. Uh, so if you have some organite just lying around, put it in your fridge. It'll make all your food good. You can put someone's picture on <laughs> or in, if you're making your own pyramid, in the pyramid. They will receive the unlimited positive orgone energy. Uh, you will receive a feeling of satisfaction for having helped a loved one by putting them in the pyramid forever. <laughs> you can put it in your water supply. Uh, in the wiki how that I went through, uh, there were people putting orgone uh, crystals in their <laughs> toilet cistern to purify their waste. There were people putting it into their water tank, so that all the water in the house. Uh, there were people putting it... Uh, <laughs> getting a bit of duct tape and taping the organite to the shower head so the water that you wash in <laughs> has first been cleansed by orgone energy. Uh, you can bury it near 5G towers <laughs> that will turn the deadly orgone energy of the 5G tower uh, into positive orgone energy instead, making it transmit love um, instead of deadly 5G COVID broadcasting. <laughs> um, so... <laughs> I get you, I get you, so I get you. I, I am getting this all from the same wiki how, to be clear. This is just very, very normal orgone opinions. Um, so, next step. Oh. What oh. does this all have to do with drinking bleach? What's that on your eye, Rach? <laughs> I think so, I think we might need to cut this slide because I don't think the general public needs to know that Rachel's got a third eye. <laughs> Jen, we all have a third eye. You might. Only downloading Grand Rising can help you open it. <laughs> <laughs> so, what does it all have to do with drinking bleach? Well, it's kind of roundabout. Okay. Um, this is what's where I'm starting to get to my point about TikTok. Because TikTok, uh, compared to other social media sites and networks, is especially algorithm run. It has a particular knack for drawing people together who logic would dictate should be friends, should have common interests, right? But uh, aren't already, basically, right? You're looking at uh, people who believe that COVID towers... um, Sorry. (laughs) COVID towers give you 5G. People who believe that... (laughs) People who believe that 5G towers give you COVID. Um, you're looking at people who believe that drinking bleach can cure you of COVID. You're looking at people who believe that burying organite near 5G towers can make them good. Um, logic kind of tells you all these people should be friends. Um, common sense they tells you to stop that happening at all costs. <laughs> but logic tells you they should. Uh, and... And blessed be the algorithm, so now they kind of are. Or at least the sites that sell orgoneproducts.org now sell Miracle Mineral Supplement. What is Mineral Miracle Supplement, you ask? It's something that Jim Humble invented. Uh, Jim Humble was the Archbishop of the Genesis 2 Church. Um, Archbishop. That's right. Um, And Miracle Mineral Supplement is... Uh, bleach. It's bleach. It's bleach. He's claiming that uh, it can cure everything from uh, dehydration to autism. Um, he's a horrid guy. He sucks. I can't stress this enough. Shitty I man. Mean, that, and that... you might notice he's wearing a crystal on his hat there. And I have a hunch, if anyone would like to hear it, as to why that is. Orgones exit the body through the head faster than any other body part. This is a known thing. From Wilhelm Reich's research, look what he's look what, what he's done. There's the crystal. It's it's protecting his organs. It's it's keeping up his orgastic poten- orgastic potency. That's the term. That hat. It looks like it's a little bit too high off his head for the crystal to be working properly. <laughs> Are you suggesting he might be losing organs? I, think I mean, he is. um. I think he needs to put you his don't head know in prison. But what you don't realise is the whole room that he's sitting in is a lead-lined box. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh, time for an oof. Um, 
Which it was not previously. It wasn't previously time for an oof. It's time for a new oof. We're, a new bigger oof. A more oofy oof. <laughs> How? We're building up we're just towards gonna oof an right oof into now. the sun. We're just going to oof it. With, we're going to fall down a well of oof in a minute. But I just want to uh, round out my presentation or, or move towards the end of my presentation by pointing to what we've encountered along the way here right we have neo-paganism which you know has a lot to do with like the the witches on tiktok right this blends neatly into crystal healing crystal healing blends neatly into curing covid with crystals and 5g towers and how you should bury organite by 5g towers which blends neatly into drinking bleach to cure covid this these are all the things that are swirling around um online but particularly on tiktok right now because as i say tiktok is very like um algorithm driven and all these things accumulate yeah, 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 like yeah, yeah. orgones in a box uh thanks to the algorithm and on top of all that the other thing that they all tie in um massively they're, they're massively comorbid with is conspiracy theories Some so to not just purely are conspiracy theories. well exactly right <laughs> um and so to kind of loop it back all around right um, William Knight, the there is no such thing as coincidences guy, right? He makes his, you know, his main uh, draw is talking about conspiracy theories, talking about how, you know, ancient aliens shit. The, usually mm. the more harmful kind of, sorry, usually the more harmless kind of conspiracy theory, just like, mm -hmm. oh, uh, there's mermaids or whatever. Or Paul McCartney's dead and was replaced by a Scottish orphan. <laughs> right, exactly. Right. <laughs> yeah. and, and most people are watching it like... <laughs> Ha ha, can you, can you believe some people believe this? Exactly. And they're enjoying that feeling. And the people and then making he, it know. And then he pops out at you at the end and is like, oh, I have an app where you can get nice things said to you every day. And they're like, oh, well, I'll get that app, sure. And yeah. it's working, you know. Um, but what goes alongside harmless conspiracy, conspiracy theories? Harmful conspiracy theories. <laughs> anyway, so here's a video um, of... Uh, William Those Knight who control the media control the masses. It's no coincidence that pornography is free and the topic of sex is in every song, movie, TV show, video game, commercial, and the list goes on. The goal is to remove the family unit, invert sexuality, Oof. remove the innocence from children, demasculinize men, Oof. and masculinize Oof. women. Feeling the oof? All done Oof. with sex magic. Oof. The Oof. most powerful energy in the universe. Oof. Okay, it's worth noting there that he explicitly is saying uh, it's all done with sex magic. Which I just wanted to, um, you know, add in there, make a point of that so that we all remember. Um, yeah, it, it is all guns <laughs> to, to, to draw this all back around. He is talking about is fuck energy. What, is this the evil all gone energy? Is that what we have here? Sorry, I was going to say, is this the yeah, deadly, so deadly yeah. organ? Yeah, I said as a treat, we'll get round to it. There you go. Um, deadly organ energy Yay. is uh, feminizing men, masculine, masculinizing women, <laughs> destroying the family unit. <laughs> uh, what else? Uh, inverting <laughs> sexuality. Uh, oh, it's an oof, anyway. It's a there, big oof. Tell it's me, oof. Tell me, I would love if there are products on the market. So we have the ones that, you know, help you absorb positive organ energy. The ones that uh -huh. help you, you know, get rid of the deadly organ energy. But I, I would love to be like absolutely open to the deadly organ energy. Give me that deadly organ energy. <laughs> <laughs> Does any, any products for that? You eat the shungite. <laughs> oh my god! So that all of the EMF is drawn to you. Yeah, yeah we do not advise eating shungite. That was a joke. No. Let's tie up some loose ends. So, um, am I cancelling William Knight right now? No, uh, he deleted this video right after he posted it, and he. Uh, the reason you're watching this on this weird screen cap right now is that, um, uh, like, he DMCA'd the 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 tweet and other posts where he it was reposted to to try and just scrub that he'd said it at all the rest of his posts don't really say this kind of stuff um but it's worth seeing that he does say this to just kind of deeply remind people that he is doing everything that he's doing for money and that uh if he thinks that it's profitable to get into bigotry uh he will because because that's yeah. how people who are kind of yeah. slightly soulless grifters yeah. will do eh, you yeah. know I, again i'm not i don't i'm not i'm not saying all this to say that he's the worst guy i'm just like get that dough bro it's fine but 
that isn't fine, so it's good he deleted it. Right. This is where we're getting around to my point. Uh, TikTok's new religion and why we should maybe worry about it, brackets, a bit, um, is that it's entirely susceptible to stuff like this, and this stuff if history is anything to go by, will rise to the surface and turn really, really nasty. Uh, just look at QAnon, which is entirely fueled by conspiracy theories, and the drinking bleach guys, you know, they're a part of that. The idea is that William Knight here is is uh, preaching in this video probably aren't his beliefs, he's probably just spouting some some, some shit he read, whatever. Uh, they're definitely not the beliefs that Wilhelm Reich had. He thought sex was great and do loads of it um <laughs> he, he loved sex magic. he loved sex magic it's his it was his favorite thing uh edging oh let's get round to edging um <laughs> semen retention a bit of edging. semen retention is a big focus of uh the sexology of fascism fascists love to tell people not to jack off uh, and in particular, they love to tell them that not jacking off will fill your body with a special kind of energy. That's what Where I does this idea that. come from? I don't know. I haven't done the research. But either it's orgones, or all just one big coincidence. <laughs> <laughs> So what you're saying is if you put a orgone crystal next to you, you can conversion therapy yourself. <laughs> Perfect. It's working already. I, I want to I go choose... to the gap. 